the complete course duration will be one and a half month will be the course duration one and a half month will be the course duration one and a half month will be the course duration every day <coughs> One hour to one and a half hour of session will be there. Uh, every day, sorry, one hour, not one and a half hour. Also, one hour of session will be there. Okay. Now, as I said, I am telling you the details only for the automation here. Daily one hour of class will be there. I have started recording the class now. Whatever the class I teach here, I'll record the session and I'll be giving the video of the session also to you. Why? Because our classes will be completely practicals with real time scenarios. Whatever I teach. Our classes will be completely practicals with real-time scenarios. Since we, uh, since I am teaching practically, right? Since I am teaching you practically, you cannot grasp everything into your mind, or else whatever the notes I give, or else whatever the notes you take down, you cannot grasp everything into your mind. That's why what I do here, I'll record the session and I'll be giving the video of the session, where videos will be very much helpful for your revision as well. Where videos will be very much helpful for your revision as well, and <coughs> throughout the course, daily after finishing the class, within half an hour or within uh, four or five hours, I will send you the video also, where you can uh, take the video and you can recollect the complete classes, which it will be very much helpful for you. And throughout the course, I'll give regular notes to you. I'll be giving regular materials. All the softwares which is required to work with this Selenium, I'll be providing you all the softwares. And most of you people, when you have joined, you have said that, Sir, I am completely new to this IT. I don't know anything about IT at all. I am from mechanical. I am from B pharmacy. I am from civil background. I am from mechanical. Will I be able to learn this course and grasp this? Yes, 100%. Anyone can learn, learn this. Because I am going to teach you from the scratch. From very beginning onwards, I am going to teach you. That's why either you know or doesn't know. No need to worry. I am going to teach you from the start, from zero onwards, from starting point onwards. I am going to teach you. If you just practice whatever I do here, that's more than sufficient for you to start working with Selenium later. Okay? I am going to teach you from the scratch, and this iteration will continue for uh, for one and a half month of course. And at the end of the course, I'll be making you to work on one real time project also. I'll be making you to work on one real time project also. Once the real time project is done, what I'll do here is I'll take a mock interview. Once the real time project is done, I'll take a mock interview. I'll take a mock interview. Based on that, what I'll do here is I'll prepare resume. Uh, uh, take a mock interview. Based on that, I'll prepare resume. See, once you are done with the uh, project work, right? Once you are done with the project uh, work also at the end of the course, you will be totally converted like how an experienced guy works. So that after finishing my course, if you have some year gaps, you can keep experience and try. To that level, I will train you. Either as a fresher or experienced, for anyone, I will be providing you the jobs also here. If you honestly practice 100% sure, I can guarantee that I can get a job and I can give it to you. See, after completing this project work, what I do, I will take a mock interview. Based on that, I will prepare resume. I will help you how to find out jobs. I will uh, I will refer you to companies also. I have tie up with 83 companies now, till date, till today. I have uh, tie ups with 83 companies where I will refer you to those companies. And 100% sure, guarantee that if you practice properly, that depends upon your practice. If without practicing, sir, I have joined your course, where is the job in the sense? No one can't provide, not only me. Not only me, no one can't provide. If you practice for sure, I will be able to get a job and I can give it to you. That's possible. And <coughs> if you have something in your mind, whether we can learn this course, either it is easy, difficult, whether Pratap teaches is good or bad or fast or slow, how can I come to know that, sir, whether it is good or bad? My humble suggestion is listen at least four to five sessions initially. Later on, you can decide whether you can continue these classes or not. Why? Because uh, today, uh, only today's class will be the theory class. From tomorrow onwards, it will be completely practicals. Tomorrow, I will be taking a little bit fast because this is not a much important topic. From day after tomorrow onwards, I will be going a little bit slow. That depends upon topic by topic. If you attend few sessions, then you will come to know how much fast or slow or whatever you are, I teach you are able to understand or not. That is one point. And apart from that, directly in the day one itself, I cannot make you to start installing Selenium and start working with the Selenium and make you to work on that. 
why because there are a lot of other prerequisites what you have to learn if you learn those prerequisites first properly then if you start working with selenium selenium is very very easy actually but most of the people don't does that what they do, uh, without knowing anything directly they will start installing selenium and start working with selenium they will tell that i know everything sir where is the uh, how can i get the job that's not the right way to learn because there are a lot of prerequisites what you have to learn before learning the selenium first i will teach you all the prerequisites first properly then if i start working with then i will be starting working with selenium then selenium is very easy actually that's why i uh, until first four, four or five session i won't ask you to enroll for the classes also okay first listen few sessions then later on you can decide whether you can continue or not okay and our classes will be completely online if you want to come for offline also you can come but i suggest you to take online itself why because even though if you are attending the classes online also you will be able to see my blackboard you can uh, you will be able to see my desktop you can ask doubts if you have anything you will be able to see my you can uh, I, i mean you uh, it will be like a whatever i am doing now is live interaction only whenever you have doubts you can unmute and you can ask to me okay that's why my online if online and offline students are together parallelly asking a doubt i will give a preference for online students only first okay because offline students they will be anyhow here i can solve it slowly also that's why i suggest any and going further your work is also coming nowadays everything is virtual work work from home you should get practice from now onwards to work uh, i mean to work here uh, uh, remotely that's why i strongly suggest people to take online classes itself if still so no sir i want to come for offline only in that case you can come for offline it's your choice however you want but i suggest you strongly to take online only but uh, and during the class you can ask doubts and after finishing the class also if you want to ask me the doubts you can ask me everyone of you have my personal contact number you can contact me my best i will give you the best time when you can contact me and get all your doubts also at the end of the course i will tell you about that also it should be uh, it should be more interactive classes and during the class also make sure this one hour don't have any disturbance at your background sit in a separate place because i will be keep on asking you the questions you have to answer that uh, sometimes i will uh, so randomly ask few of them uh, randomly ask few people select few people and i will ask you the questions you have to answer if you are not answering i will tell you to drop out this in this batch and join in the next batch prepare up to that and join in the next batch like that i will tell you that's why you have to be prepared okay at least by weekend if you don't get time on weekdays if you are working and play try to on weekends you will get a time and i'll give some assignments on weekends you have to do that our classes will be from monday to friday if there is no assignments on weekends this weekend since it is a starting weekend there will not be much assignments so that i'll be taking the class on this weekend also okay next weekend the, uh, there will be assignments so that i'll give you the leave where you can sit and practice that is how the classes will be and as i said our classes will be completely practicals with real time scenarios and coming to the course this is our course content today we are going to learn the basics of testing and automation tomorrow i will teach you the basics of html day after tomorrow i will teach you the element locators one each day i will cover one each topic coming to the basics of java <coughs> coming to the basics of java not only one day not only one day i'll be taking around 4 to 5 days then you might ask a question sir in that 4 to 5 days will we be able to learn the complete java no no one can't learn complete java in 4 to 5 days and first of all complete java is not required for us because we are not developers we are testers a little bit basic core java concepts is sufficient a little bit basic core java concepts is sufficient with that little bit basic core java concepts with that little bit basic core java concepts if you start working with selenium selenium will be very easy actually <coughs> selenium will be very easy actually selenium will be that's why uh <coughs> for for 4 to 5 days i will be taking the basics of java and with that knowledge i will be starting working with selenium and in between selenium also i will be teaching some more java concepts as well and at the end of the course i will be making you to work on different kinds of frameworks like data driven framework testng framework 
hybrid framework with a real time project page object model page object model maven jenkins kukumba everything which is required to work as an experience complete end to end part i will be covering here complete end to end part i will be covering this is all about the overview about our course before i stop uh, start stepping into the classes do anyone have doubts guys if anyone have doubts you can ask me or else if you don't have any doubts you can tell no doubts at least so that i can continue further just a minute our hr is calling just a minute guys yeah venkat venkat ee play bombe sa chalo yeah someone is asking some doubts yeah yeah both are completely different no no both are completely independent okay and uh, someone have asked what are the topics after four or five days i will be starting with that vasant i will let you know at the time when i start that i will let you know completely a little bit basic oops concepts is enough if you know about java then i can tell you oops concept is enough okay any other doubts little bit of exception handling is required that i will te teach you duration of uh, aditi duration of the course for this automation it will be one and a half month no no my doubt is like hmm just four to five that is not end i am telling that is just for beginning see directly if you learn complete java separately and uh, selenium separately right when you go for interviews they will ask the coordination then if you miss that coordination right completely you will fail that is what the mistake most of the people does actually those who are learning selenium learning uh, java in one tray from one trainer and selenium from one trainer and they will not have coordination between each other when you go for interview you will fail and come back sir i am answering everything but i don't know why uh, they are failing me that you will tell to i will avoid that gap completely here okay okay then fine any other doubts duration of the course tripathi is one and a half month for automation and around 20 hours for manual testing if you are taking for manual testing yeah yeah chandu any doubts chandu if you don't have the knowledge on manual testing it is preferred to take both if you have a li little bit basic knowledge on manual testing also no need to learn manual testing you can take only automation also if you don't know manual testing then it's prefer to take both okay you can mute a microphone just a minute i am taking attendance don't unmute anyone who is this sj account can i know your name sj yeah my name is suresh suresh okay who is this xiaomi m20 last account xiaomi m20 whose account is this whose account is this i have two versions i don't know whether both are same or not also okay guys let me start this is just a overview about our course no doubts for you right let me start the session testing first and foremost if you have any doubts you can unmute and ask always you are welcome first and foremost i am going to tell you what is meant by testing what do you mean by the word meaning testing testing means see testing is nothing but testing is a set of activities that involves planning and processing on what to test and how to test and testing with an intent of finding out the defects okay see uh, i'm having water now i'm having water bottle in my hand when this water bottle is being manufactured it has to be tested thoroughly it has to be tested thoroughly then only it has to be released into the market blindly they won't they won't release that into the market that's not the right procedure first of all 
right what are the different ways how they can test this water bottle sir water bottle seems to be quite a small example give us a better example okay if you ask me a better example i can give you a better example mm. <coughs> there is a car there is a audi q9 car that's the new upcoming model car in audi when the first model of the car is being manufactured when the first model of the car is being manufactured it has to be tested thoroughly it has to be tested thoroughly then only it has to be released into the market blindly they won't release that into the market what are the different ways how they can test this uh, car audi q9 car what are the different ways how i can test this uh, car uh, okay uh, let us uh, l uh, okay what are the if i imagine that we as a team of five people are there who is going to test that car what are the different test cases we can write to the car and how uh, let me tell you those test cases if i am a test right what i will do i'll take the car and drive the car in more than 150 speed even at 150 speed also there should not be any vibrations in the car that is called speed test first test case speed test second i'll go and hit the car in somewhere in more than 80 speed or 90 speed impact has to happen and airbags has to open and make sure the safety equipments are working fine that is called crash test first one speed test second one crash test third Mm, I'll fill the car for 50 liters and drive for 500 kilometers. I have to get a mileage of for 10 kilometers per liter at least. That is called economy test or mileage test. Economy test. First speed test. Second test case crash test. Third test case economy test. Fourth test case I'll do go in different speed levels and apply the brakes. Brakes has to work fine. It's a check. Fifth test case accelerator is working fine. Next uh, gears are working fine. Clutch is working fine. Either the uh, steering is functioning properly. Either the uh, windows are working fine. Either the doors are working fine. Either the AC is working fine. Either the sound system is working fine. Either the wiper is working fine. Either the windshield mirror is working fine. Either the uh, Mm, uh, headlights are working fine indicators are likewise each and every part of the car has to be tested thoroughly then only we have to release that into the market blindly as soon as we manufacture the, they won't release when the manufacturer manufacturer also he also knows driving but he will not directly approve to approve that into the market he will give it to the tester to test it tester will test it in different different negative positive ways then only he will approve it okay he, he will keep the car in sunlight for more than 2 months where we have more than 50 degree even at that time also paint should not get shaded he will drive the car in more than uh, in less than 15 minus 15 degree even at that time also car has to work proper different different ways how we can test it so the different different ways how we will be testing this is how a hard how a car is been tested this is how a car is been tested right now generally i am telling you how any product is, will be tested okay there will be thousands and thousands of uh, hundreds and hundreds of test cases will be there to test the car okay if i am a car tester right as soon as i get the car if i go and hit the car in more than 80 speed that is if i do the crash test in the beginning itself later on to, uh, for each and every test case i cannot keep on asking one each car if i ask like that right company will go into losses completely company will go into losses that's not the right procedure first of all that's not the right procedure first of all that's not the right procedure in that case that's not the right procedure in that case what we can do here <coughs> as soon as we get any product first and foremost understand the product clearly understand the product clearly then based on that start writing the test cases start writing the test cases rearrange the test cases which test case has to be tested first which test case has to be tested next like that rearrange the test cases in an order rearrange the test cases in an order rearrange the test cases in an order then
rearrange the test cases and who is that guys don't leave without my permission i will be at the end i will be giving more information also then based on that start write, uh, get reviewed of those test cases from the manager once manager uh, approves it then start doing the testing and submit the results blindly as soon as you get the product you will not be doing the testing you have to follow that hierarchy first understand the product based on that start writing the test cases start writing the test cases rearrange those test cases which test case has to be tested first and next then get reviewed of those test cases from the manager once manager approves you can start doing the testing this is what this is what any te uh, tester will be doing to test any product until now i am discussing about a hardware product until now i am discussing about a hardware product whenever any hardware product is being tested this is how it will be tested right the same way any product whatever we test we have discussed the same way when it comes to the point of software testing when it comes to the point of software testing whenever any software product is being built it has to be tested thoroughly then only it has to be released into the market imagine that i am working for a company called google and i am working for a product called gmail if i want to test the login page of gmail first i need to open the browser open the url first test case give a wrong username correct password and click on login it should not get logged in it should not get logged in second test case it should not get logged in second test case mm a second test case give a mm uh second test case give a correct username wrong password and click on login it should not get logged in first test case correct username wrong password second test case wrong username correct password two test cases third test case give a wrong username wrong password and click on login it should not get logged in fourth test case without giving anything click on login it should not get logged in fifth test case give a correct username correct password and click on login it should get logged in to test a small login scenario itself to test a small login scenario itself i am applying five different test cases to test a small login scenario itself i am applying five different test cases i am applying five different test cases in the same way i am applying five different test cases in the same way if i want to test the complete gmail product for example gmail has gmail gmail has inbox it has many modules compose inbox add send mail snoozed meetings hangouts search in search itself there are uh, search mail uh, settings there are several settings all the settings likewise settings uh profile likewise we have different different we have different different in that case if i want to test this complete uh, gmail right there will be thousands and thousands of test cases will be there there will be thousands and thousands of test cases will be there in that case in that case i alone cannot sit and test all those thousand test cases imagine that exactly there are thousand test cases just to ato aap adne aap ka mali in that case i alone cannot sit and test all those thousand test cases okay even though if i am a manager or managing director or ceo or whomever i might be on an average one employee can test only 30 test cases per day okay only 30 test cases can be tested by one employee per day in that case if there are 1000 test cases guys guys why are you leaving one by one it's up to you i cannot force anyone I alone cannot sit and test all those thousand test cases. On an average, one employee can test only thirty test cases per day. I am now talking about the manual testing. Manually, if you are testing, we can test only thirty test cases per day. 
in that case i alone cannot sit and test all those thousand test cases how many employees do i require thousand divided by 30 which is 33.33 it comes around 34 employees i require if i want to test this complete gmail product manually right i require almost 34 employees i require almost 34 employees and one more spare employee 35 employees one more spare employee around 35 employees around 35 employees okay i alone can uh, cannot do that I, I have to hire 35 employees i would do, divide 30 each test case to one each employee in the morning by if i give it in the morning by evening they will uh, do the testing and they will give the results to me whatever the failed test cases are there i will tell the developers to fix it once the developer fix it again i will tell the tester to test it if it is done it's done if it is not done again i will tell the developers to fix it again i will tell the tester to test it this iteration will continue for three to four times and finally the product is done if the product is done it's done but why we have to keep on doing the testing again and again what is the necessity of doing this testing again and again what is the necessity of uh, testing the product again and again <coughs> why because why because there will be some or the other updates to the product there will be some or the other updates to the product whenever there is a new update which is coming to the product whenever there is a new update which is coming to the product the existing functionalities also should work fine whenever there is a new update which is coming to the product the existing functionalities also should work fine that's why as a good practice what we do here is we'll be keep on doing this uh, testing again and again and again whenever the, for example earlier hangouts is not there before three years when they implement the hangouts if uh, inbox is not working fine or else if login is work not working fine it's a big bug actually that's not good actually right that's why as a best practice what we will be doing we'll be keep on doing the same set of test case again and again okay imagine that this gmail is going to be there for next 50 years or 60 years or 100 years for next few imagine that if this gmail is going to be there for next 50 years for next 50 years also i have to keep on doing the same set of testing again and again right which means that I, rec I have to hire these 35 employees I have to keep on telling them to do the same set of test case again and again one test case added and removed uh, like that they have to do the same work again and again it's not is it that easy to maintain these 35 employees for next 50 years no it's not that easy to maintain these 35 employees for next 50 years it's not that easy to maintain these 35 it's quite expensive work right if one goes out again i have to hire a new one if one goes out again i have to hire a new one if myself if i quit the job also company has to hire a new one it's not that easy to maintain this product uh, do the manual testing uh, daily okay that's why to avoid this repetition work what the software experts did they came up with a strategy called automation they came up with a strategy called automation if this 35 employees sits and works for next one month or one and a half month maximum they can automate these thousand test cases they can automate these thousand test cases after automating these thousand test cases we can remove all the 34 employees after automating these thousand test cases we can remove all the 34 employees and only one employee is sufficient to manage those thousand test cases and only one employee is sufficient to manage those thousand test cases and that too and only only one employee is sufficient to manage those thousand test cases and that too if I tell that one employee to test that uh, thousand test cases through automation, right? He will quickly test within one hour and he will give the results within one hour. Through automation, we can save a lot of time, a lot of manpower will be saved. A lot of advantages are there if you go with automation. That's why almost all the companies have literally stopped using manual testing and everyone started switching automation. Uh, everyone started switching to automation. That's why most of the people used to tell manual it is getting outdated nowadays, manual is getting outdated and nowadays we have to switch to automation. Why? Because through automation we can save a lot of time, a lot of manpower will be saved. A lot of advantages are there if you go with automation. That's why almost all the companies have literally stopped using manual testing and everyone started switching to automation. And we are also going to learn completely about the automation. And we are also going to learn completely about the automation. Okay, 
when it comes to the point of automation we are not going to discuss anything about manual testing going further we are going to learn completely about the automation when it comes to the point of automation in automation there are several tools available like there are several tools available like QTP Selenium Renorex Test Complete Rational Robot uh, Silk Test Vatir Votes there are many 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 tools available in the software industry there are many tools available in the software industry out of that most of the people knows only about QTP and Selenium most of the people knows only about QTP and Selenium okay QTP is the first automation tool invented in the software industry in the year 1998 and officially they have released in the year 2000 later on in the year 2004 only Selenium came into the existence and all the other tools came later later on all the other tools came later see when we see the statistics of around 2004 to 2005 see what happened at the time 70 percentage of the companies are using QTP at the time 20% of the companies are using Selenium. QTP is the first automation tool invented. Later on, uh, after 2004, only Selenium uh, and all the other tools came later. 70% of the companies used to use QTP at the time. 20% of the companies used to use Selenium. And 10% of the companies used to use other tools. But when we see the statistics of around 2020 uh, to 2021, right? What happened now is it's completely different. Seventy percentage of the companies used to use Selenium. Twenty percentage of the companies are using QTP, and ten percentage of the companies are using other tools. This is the average statistics of usage of tools in the present industry now, in the market now. Right? By seeing these statistics, what we guys have understood, we have understood that most of the people. Sorry to dropping off. Okay. Please, please, who is that? Vasant, do you have any doubts, Vasant? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, tell me. Wait for some time. I am teaching the class. I will tell you which is in demand and everything. All of a sudden, I cannot tell you everything at a time. Okay? For sure, I will tell you. Don't worry, Vasant. Okay? Ch Chandu, do you have any doubts, Chandu? No. Then don't unmute if you don't have any doubts. If you have any doubts, you can unmute and ask. See, earlier most of the people used to use QTP. But nowadays everyone started switching to Selenium. Okay. By seeing these statistics, what we guys have understood, we have understood that most of the people uh, are using Selenium nowadays. There are a lot of advantages with Selenium when compared with QTP. There are a lot of drawbacks with this QTP. There are a lot of differences between Selenium and QTP. That's why we are going to... As a next step, what we are going to see is we are going to see the difference between QTP and Selenium. Later on, we will decide which is the best tool and we will go accordingly. Of course, Selenium is the best tool. Okay, take down this into your notes. Next, we will see the difference between QTP and Selenium. That's the last theory session what I will be taking. And today is the first class and the last theory session what I will be taking today. Tomorrow onwards, it will be completely practical because we will be stepping into Selenium from tomorrow. Take down this quickly into your notes.
Next, let us see the difference between QTP and Selenium. QTP. Let us see the difference between QTP and Selenium it's a open source tool. QTP is a paid tool. Selenium it's a open source. Let us see the difference between QTP and Selenium. Selenium is a open source tool and QTP is a paid tool. What is open source in the sense it's available for free of cost. We don't want to purchase license to use the tool. Whereas QTP we have to purchase license to use the tool. Selenium is a open source tool and QTP is a paid tool. Selenium it supports all the operating systems whereas this supports only windows if you have mac or linux machine then you cannot install that qtp and you cannot start working with that it supports all the it supports uh, it supports all the uh, selenium supports almost all the browsers all the major browsers whereas this supports only ie browser that is Internet Explorer browser. Internet Explorer browser. Supports almost all the major browsers. Almost all the major browsers. See, for example, your company is developing an application like Flipkart. Your company is developing an application like Flipkart. In that case, uh, your customer is demanding to test it in all the browsers. Your customer is demanding to test it in all the browsers. In that case, if you use QTP, right, you cannot test it in all the browsers. It's not possible. Where else? you can test that application in all the browsers using selenium that's possible if you know java you can start writing the selenium code if you know python you can start writing the selenium code if you know uh, c sharp perl php if you know any one of these programming language you can start working with selenium whereas if you want to work with qtp must ensure you should know vb scripting this VB scripting is an outdated programming language. It is not getting installed in the latest version of Windows. Lot of problems are there with this VB scripting. And this QTP is supporting that particular programming language. Whereas this Selenium supports multiple programming language. Again, most of the people used to ask me, Sir, is it good to go with Java with Selenium or Python with Selenium or C Sharp with Selenium? Which is the best? Most of the people used to tell Python is good. Python is good for development, not for testing. That is for development purpose, which is intense. Where uh, non-IT people and uh, those who have no less knowledge on programming cannot learn that. Okay. L cannot learn development. Since you have chosen testing, Java with Selenium is the best choice always. Why? Because of two strong reasons. One is, the Selenium tool itself is built with Java only. If you are going with Python with Selenium or C Sharp with Selenium, again you have to know how to customize it and use it according to Java. Then it's double the work. That's why it is preferred to go with Java with Selenium. No, no, sir. Still, I hate uh, Java. I have to go with Python. If you tell like that, right? After learning, when you are looking out for a job, out of 100 jobs, 90 jobs will be there on Java with Selenium. Only 10% of the jobs will be there on Python with Selenium or C Sharp with Selenium. That's why it is better to go with Java with Selenium always. Java with Selenium always. The size of this Software is just 28 MB. Whereas the size of the software is 1.5 GB. 1.5 GB. 
the size of this software is 28 MB whereas the size of this software is 1.5 GB if you want to install this QTP right at least a minimum of half a GB of RAM is uh, sorry 2 GB of RAM is required whereas if you want to install the Selenium if you have half a GB of RAM that's more than sufficient okay these are all the advantages of Selenium when compared with QTP these are all the advantages of Selenium when compared with QTP but still there are some I even though I get it for free of cost I have these many advantages then why people will go for uh, other tools like uh, QTP or some other tools that's why almost all the companies have literally stopped using other tools and everyone started switching to Selenium and we are also going to learn completely about Selenium only okay yeah yeah QTP is quick test professional that is also a kind of automation tool like Selenium okay quick test professional is the full form for that okay now there are as I said there are many automation tools out of that these two are very popular popular that is the difference between both okay okay next the size of the uh, okay but still there is one drawback with selenium also what is the drawback the selenium supports only web applications applications where else uh, applications where else QTP supports both desktop and web applications desktop and web applications applications QTP supports desktop and web application what is desktop applications and what is web applications can you give some examples for web applications examples for web application is Gmail Facebook Amazon Flipkart anything which opens inside a browser anything which opens inside a browser is a web application rest of other applications are desktop applications rest of other applications are desktop applications anything which opens inside a browser is a web application rest of other applications are desktop for uh, examples for desktop application is wordpad notepad paint calculator these things are desktop applications if your company is developing a desktop application and if you want to automate that by using uh, selenium it's quite impossible okay because selenium supports only web based applications Okay, this is one drawback what we find but do you see any companies developing desktop applications nowadays no very 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 few companies only develops desktop applications most of the companies develops only web applications only web applications only and that too web applications only this is one drawback but not a big drawback also and that too what the selenium guys are doing nowadays is they are coming up with a new tool called Vinium Vinium is a tool like selenium which is used to automate windows based desktop applications windows based desktop applications uh, this tool has not released into the market only trial versions are going on if this actual tool gets released into the market right almost all the companies will literally stop using other tools and everyone will start switching to selenium everyone will start switching to selenium later right these are all the advantages with selenium when compared with QTP that's why almost everyone started switching to selenium only take down this difference between QTP and selenium